right, so today we are in the Vaskes Mountains and we're actually doing our first hike. So this actually needs some backstory. We decided to go on our first ever multiple day hike and to do it in the winter as well. We did some research and with that information created our own route using maps. We went shopping for supplies and drove eight hours to our destination, the Vosges Mountains in France. All right, so today we are in the Vosges Mountains and we're actually doing our first hike, right? I wanna go! We look like actual, we look like turtles, uh, black turtles. But yeah, we started our trip at the Honeck Mountain, which is the highest point here where we parked our car. And we thought, yeah, cool, let's get some shots of the uh, whole yeah, area. But as you can see, or as you can see, <laughs> there's absolutely nothing to see. So I just grabbed the camera because I actually saw a lake down there, which is our first checkpoint to go to. So I saw it down there. Um, but now, well, it, it's gone too. So yeah, if I can catch it again, I'll show it. We're gonna continue our journey. We are planning on actually staying in the Vosges Mountains for, I think two, three nights? Two, not three. Oh, two nights. I wanted three, but two is sad. <laughs> uh, I'm carrying the tent and everything. So it's our first time, kind of, Scary, dangerous too, right? We're so fucking unprepared. What did you say? We're so unprepared? Yes. We've never Why do you say that? Because we've never done this before. We have zero experience. This is actually my first time camping. I've never put up a tent and we're, be, we're walking here in the snow. Yes, you've, so we're a bit unskilled. So but if we're gonna freeze to death, this was uh, the last video. Well, we're, we're unskilled, but it doesn't mean we don't have all the supplies we need. We, need, we have supplies, we just don't know how to use them. So this is what I meant when I said there's a lot of snow. So if you can actually look there behind me, those holes are actually so incredibly deep. I mean, you could actually break your leg, I think, if you stepped in, oh, pff, stepped in the hole. Let's go hiking, he said. It'll be fun, he said. Hey, this was your idea. Yeah. That is what I'm talking about. Finally a few. We started our trip in pretty bad weather as you have seen, making us doubt our decision to go hiking at all in the first place. However, after a while we got used to the cold and started feeling more confident about our hiking plans. Alright, so we made it to our little checkpoint, as you can see behind me, the lake, which is frozen, solid, which we did not expect. We walked for, I think, two or three hours, something like that, and we can see the star point completely at the top, which is really cool. So we're just gonna eat something, have some water, relax for a minute, walk around without the backpacks because my back is feeling kind of weird. but. I'm proud of us, we, we're doing really well. I'm not complaining anymore. We're past most of the snow, which is good. So yeah, we made it. You just tying his shoes. <laughs> another stone. <laughs> you got another stone in your shoe. So this is our setup. We have the rain cover is still around our backpacks because at the top of the hill it was snowing, whatever, rain. And our camera gear. And yeah, I really like the rain covers for the backpacks. We took our raincoats off and continue because it was kind of hot.
Since it started getting dark slowly and we had walked about five to six hours, we decided that it was time to put up our tent. Now, realizing that we probably should have put up our newly bought tent once before our hike, we were still pretty fast in putting it up. However, if something had been wrong with the tent, we probably wouldn't have had the place to sleep, so I truly recommend checking your newly bought tent before you leave. What's cooking it liking? Mushroom soup. <laughs> Mushroom soup. It really smells so good. We didn't eat much really, today. So. Really looking forward to this. This is better than any Michelin starred restaurant. <laughs> Right, so we have the second dish, which is noodles. And we're making Yuda's noodles right here from Unox, which seems to be a theme in our videos. But yeah, second dish and then an apple. Last night we fell asleep pretty quickly after all the walking we did during the day. We did wake up, however, quite frequently during the night with all the sounds of the outside world of the nature at night. Alright, so we've now arrived at Mietlach, our next checkpoint. And we thought this would be an actual mountain top but it turns out it's a little village so it looks really cute but that's good now we have service <laughs> yeah now we have service because we wanted to reach out to our family and some other things um so now we can actually do it we can so our next stop will probably be a mountain top i'm not pretty sure Kastelberg. yeah castle bear right I yes so. so yeah we're excited to see what that looks like i hope it's not like super steep up, but i think so. i think it will be I think it will be steep up because we're now actually in the valley. We are. In the deep down in the valley and the mountain is I believe 1800 high? No, 1300. Oh, 1300. So we have to go up a few meters. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to do it. It's really sunny today, so It is really done sunny with today. Snow, which is good. Yes. We had a good night of sleep or more than, more or less. Oh, <laughs> well, we had a good we night. We had a pretty sleep. good night of sleep. Yeah. We so, put up our tent, which you probably can see in the other footage. We had some soup, we cooked a little, and we went to bed really early because it's dark. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Now we're going to continue our walk today and hopefully get some meetups in. And we had, the, had a good little breakfast we did. this morning. So. Packed everything up neatly. Yes. Our bags are fully stocked again. So yes. Ready to go. So let's continue our journey then. Alright, so we're at the top currently. If you can see the church in the distance there, that's basically where we started our day. A little bit later, but that's where we started and this is where we are right now. And the road continues. <laughs> we're gonna continue. Alright, so maybe you can see in the distance a little house with like red windows. We started there or Came across there yesterday. Yeah, we didn't start there. We came across there like maybe like a couple of hours into our hike. Yeah. So this is the next day and we're currently here. So we have a lot left to do, but it's good to see something familiar. Yeah, it's, mo it's motivation. It is motivation. snowy and rainy day from beforehand, the sun was shining bright during this part, making us experience the complete opposite of yesterday, running hot during the steep climbs and going through our water supply rather quickly. Alright, so you can probably see the waterfall up there. You and I got lost, so we were at the top of that mountain right there and we got the trail had two 
ways, so we took the wrong turn and we had to end up taking no trail and only steep hill down there, which is to do, but we had to either go down or go back, which going back was not possible because we were like sliding down the woods. So yeah, don't don't yeah. do it at home. <laughs> there were a lot of big rocks from climbing down and a lot of We climbed trees. over tree as you can see like right there. There's so many trees but falling. You can, see, you can see how steep it is. And there we came across these rocks that were like completely at the top because there's another section right there. You can actually see how steep steep this it is. This is so high. And we, we got lost at, at the almost top. the top, yeah. And we because that was not at all the path we were supposed to take. No, but Fortunately, we knew where we are, where yeah. we were. We had a little bit of service, which was really and lucky. We had service, so we could uh, see on Google Maps in which way we were going. I also have a compass, so that was I mean, good. It would would go uh, well eventually. But we used Google Maps to actually uh, direct us to uh, this this lake here that we know. Yeah, we were here yesterday, so we were yesterday, so we knew that if we would direct it to this lake, then we would find our way back yeah um, so we did we climbed over three over trees that were falling down we walked over the river like completely upstream there so it was so tricky but it was it, it, it kind of feels like a blur now it feels like a movie it's probably because of your survival instincts that kick in and you just keep it, on going it's like what time is it like three o'clock no it's four four o'clock so it's got dark. It, it's getting dark like two and a half hours. Yeah, two, three hours. So yeah. we have to either choose: do we go on right now and go to the car, or do we stay here another night and just call it a day? But I kind of want to go to the car. Yeah, we're gonna go. After we're gonna that, see if we get to the car. Probably we will. Yeah, after that little adventure of sliding down, because we were no joke like climbing rocks that we were definitely not supposed to climb because they were loose. They were loose rocks. Yes, they were loose. But all right, we survived. We survived, and we're gonna continue, and we're gonna end it here <laughs> with the trip. So two more hours or three more hours of climbing, and then we'll get to the car, and we'll probably book a hotel in the neighborhood, and then. Because this was a hell of an adventure. Yeah, this was kind of kind of scary too. Okay, now we're gonna get ourselves together. Look at my sleeping bag. It was so disgusting from all of the tree sliding and climbing. But yeah, yeah we're we gonna. Fell, we fell multiple times. So. Yes, we did. We didn't break anything, we're good, and we're gonna head to the car, and well, it was quite an adventure. <laughs> yeah, it was. Let's go. We're almost there. Oh, I'm so tired. We're so close. But those last couple of hundreds of meters... It's not even far anymore. No, like... but they are just mentally tough. And your your mind starts playing games with you. It's because you're almost there. You're almost there. And then we're gonna go in the car, do get get on some other shoe. I can't even speak. <laughs> put on some other shoes. Put on some some normal clothes. Lay on a bed for like three hours. Maybe eat some food. I am gonna eat, not maybe, I am gonna eat some food. <laughs> Take I'm gonna eat some real hot food. Not hot in the sense like spicy, but <laughs> hot in the sense like it's hot. Right. Because, yeah, I'm so longing for that. My shoulders are so tired. Yeah, their shoulders are broken. Also also a bit of mentally thing because we're almost there. So yeah. Don't but we've been, we've been wearing these bags all day. I mean, it's yeah, not, of it's course. Not don't whine and complain, you're almost there. That's true. We're right. almost there, that's good. So It's a beautiful view. It is a beautiful view. Sun, We're gonna sun is setting. Behind the big mountains, so that's good. And I'm gonna take a hot shower as soon as we get to the hotel. Yes. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. 